In this video, we'll show you how to teach the side free fly in spiral. We will also be looking into tipping the wheel when starting directly with a free fly. Here you can see what we'll cover in this video. You can skip to each chapter by clicking on the time marks in the video description. Before doing the free fly in spiral, the gymnast should definitely be able to do the side free fly in straight line. It doesn't hurt to practice the free fly backwards and forwards either. If you don't know how to teach that, then check out our other videos. In spiral, the gymnast should be able to do side rotations in bindings and one-armed side rotations with each arm. Another nice and very helpful element is the side rotation with hands on one rim handle. Here the gymnast can't push and pull with their arms and therefore learns to control the wheel with their feet. If the gymnast is still learning this, then guide the wheel like the coach here. Also for you as a coach, it's important to be able to guide the wheel smoothly before moving on to the free fly. Before trying the first free fly, the gymnast should check that the bindings are as tight as possible. Often they need to be made a little tighter than for the side rotations. However, they should still be able to touch the rims with their toes. Now let's discuss the correct body position. First, of course, the knees should be straight. The body should be completely upright and all core muscles tight. The head should face forwards. The arms are parallel to the wheel. In fact, the gymnast should always be in the plane of the rolling rim. Now, when you start learning the free fly, it can feel a bit scary to go head first towards the floor. That's why most free fly beginners will lean away from the floor and get into this position. A good exercise to help prevent that is this one. Note that the body is completely straight. Now we're ready to try the free fly for the first time. The coach should help by guiding the wheel so that the gymnast can focus on the body position. You can make it particularly easy for the gymnast if you do very large rotations so that the wheel is almost vertical. We recommend doing one side rotation, one side rotation with only the leading arm and then try the free fly. Here the gymnast is trying the free fly immediately after the first side rotation. The gymnast can simply grab the handles when he or she doesn't feel safe. You can practice it until the gymnast is able to do a whole rotation and then aim for two rotations and maybe even more. At the beginning it'll look something like this. After a while the gymnast will learn to keep the correct body position and manage to do the free fly. Always keep in mind the correct body position we showed you in the previous chapter and correct the gymnast's mistakes so they don't get used to a wrong body position. If the gymnast is scared of doing the free fly and if you are an advanced spotter in spiral, then you can support the gymnast with one hand like the coach here. If you aren't an as advanced coach, you can guide the wheel at a very large angle and ask a second coach to help you. The second coach can support the gymnast in a similar way as for a free fly in straight line and grab the gymnast's waist with crossed arms. In the end, the free fly should look something like this. Note that the body is completely straight, in particular the belly is not too far out, the head is facing to the front, not wandering around, and the legs are completely straight the whole time. Here you can see a nice way to start both the free fly and the routine. To teach the tipping, first repeat the preliminary exercise from before. Practice it until the gymnast can tip the wheel quickly and in a controlled way. During the short moment of tipping, the toes push to the floor and the heels pull upwards. 
Then the gymnast starts in the position of the free fly. The body is tense and standing in the plane of the rolling rim. Keeping this position, the gymnast swings to the side. Note that she only bends one knee. The gymnast tips the wheel in the precise moment when the wheel stops in order to change direction. This is very important. Many gymnasts will try to tip the wheel too early. Then the gymnast can push the wheel to the other side by straightening the bent leg. The body should stay in the plane of the rolling rim. For the gymnast, this feels a bit like diving headfirst into the floor. As a coach, you can stand in front of the wheel a little to the side where the wheel will be tipped. Be ready to catch the wheel in the case it falls to the front. Otherwise, grab the wheel from the side and guide it like you would for other elements in bindings. So this has been how to side free fly in spiral. We hope you have fun with it and train safely.